Thoughts on, on DJ Khaled album? Yo, DJ Khaled dropped a really trash album, man. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know why it came out. I don't know how it came out like this. I'm comparing this project now to this project last time. This shit is trash. You feel me? You got two old Drake songs from like three years ago. He got like a baby and Dirk song. That was a throwaway. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all. That was a throwaway. Like, Dirk ain't giving no good shit. That was a throwaway song, bro. Like, I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all. That wasn't the, the lit joint that Dirk and, 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 and Baby got. That shit was a throwaway. They gave it a That was a throwaway. I listened to, uh, there's another song on there. It's throwaways. Like, yo, DJ Khaled ain't coming to shit this time. Either niggas ain't respecting him, or it's just like, yo, just like, like, just not fucking with him type shit. You feel me? So, like, I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. Ugh. This shit was crazy. This shit was whack this time around. And, and truth be told, that last that last DJ Khaled project, I felt like he went hard on it, man. Like, even though, you know, sometimes we play around with him, I think he was mad at, I don't know if it was a Grammy nomination or something like that. He was a little mad, and people just kind of played him like, ha-ha, you really thought you was going to get one. <clears throat> All right, f*** that. I'm going to just be honest with y'all, man. That nigga... Khaled went hard on that last project. This shit, that nigga mailed it in, man. That shit was not it. This shit was whack. Khaled know it was whack. Again, I think he felt like he just he touched all bases by two Drake songs that's been out. He got Baby and, and Dirk on the track, and he was trying to just get everybody who was relevant. He got 21 Savage and Bieber. But I'm going to be honest with you. These songs ain't hitting. They not knocking. These shits is whack. I'm glad you got Jay-Z and, and Nas on the track. But this shit whack, bro. This shit is whack. Like, Khaled, this was a misstep, my brother. This shit was whack. I, I can't even lie to you. This was whack. And I know people don't appreciate Khaled. I appreciate Khaled. I just don't feel like this was it for him. I think he'll come back, do better. But right now... I listen to this garbage and I almost spit every time. I'm... This shit is garbage, man. Yo, Khaled, that shit was trash, bro. You could do better. Trash. I'm going to tell you what's... Like, Khaled, you're not supposed to let the the YSL album be better than your shit, nigga. Like, they threw anybody and everybody on it. Young Thug had his sister rapping on this shit. Nigga had his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend rapping on this shit. You're not supposed to, like, fucking get the best of the best Bieber, 21 Savage, two Drake tracks, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, and come up with some mid. Are you fucking dumb? Nigga, you got Jay-Z and Nas coming out of retirement. Are you crazy, nigga? This shit was fucking mid. Like, come the fuck on, brother. I just can't understand. The Buju track is cool, bro, but that's not going to carry an album. First of all, I'm telling you, the album had old-ass tracks. Maybe it would have looked better if he had dropped this project right after Popstar and Grease was charting. But those songs just seem mad old. Like, Drake has had, like, four other tracks that popped up. Drake had the Your Minds Now track. He's had um, Solid. He's had a few other tracks just kind of like pop up on the bill. Like, this should seem mad old. 80 says he watches the stream. Hey, come on, man. Yo, there's mad people over no jump. I know they chat niggas, man. Like, yo, yo, I ain't even gonna lie. It hurt my heart to violate House Cat. Like, I'm, I'm gonna call him House Phone now. Like, we done with the beef. I'm, I, I'm, it hurt my heart to violate House Phone because I know he fuck with me. I know he fuck with me. I know he a chat nigga. But, like, you know what I mean? It was war then. When it's war, it's war, bruh. When it's war, everybody got to get it, man. If you leave your dog outside, he got to get clapped. If you leave anybody outside, they got to get clapped. I'm sorry, bro. But, like, yo, her house phone, like, we know you a chat nigga, bro. Like, we know you a real one, bro. AD, we know you fuck with the movement. But at that time, Adam was just a little out of pocket. We just had to deal with him real quick. But me and Adam, we cool now. We tight. We locked in. Locked in. I'm going to tell you the truth. Adam sent me a clip. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, like, I wish, um, I wish Shorty, what's her name again? I wish Shorty, um, let me say her name, I wish she would just stop talking about me in that capacity, but she did an interview with them, 
She did an interview with with, with No Jump or whatever. And then she talking about me like for the first like 20 minutes. So I'm going to keep it a thousand. Adam said, Adam said, act, you know, you see, that's why I could fuck with Adam. Cause like after our little beef, bro, he know how I feel. So like he hit me, so act, I did an interview with Shorty. She mentioned in your name. Could you review the clip and tell me if, if you feel offended by anything we could take out? And I ain't gonna lie, it was light shit. You know what I mean? Like me, I was never like, I'm not a nigga that said don't talk about me, period. You feel me? I'm not a nigga that said don't talk about me, period. It's like, bro, don't have a chick coming on your platform and saying like some shit that like against me, a black man, could be some heavy allegations that now is fucking up my other shit that I got going on. Like, you wouldn't want me to bring somebody on here that say, yo, Adam raped 10 of us, right? Like, I wouldn't do that, especially without even talking to you and try to figure out some something like that because at that point, I'm just weaponizing my platform. That's what I was saying, but you know, he has showed you on there, like you know, what I mean, I, I, I'm not the, I'm not the most fond of her continually speaking on me or whatever the case is, but she did. But I could be honest with you, and I looked at the clip, and, and Adam sent it to me. I said, "Yo, it wasn't nothing that was, um, um, at least for me, it wasn't nothing that was detrimental to, um." how people looked at me, any jobs or any future business moves that had coming up. So I'm like, all right, man, y'all could keep y'all guys. I'll be capping. That's why y'all really be on that. I think I'll be capping. I don't have to cap. I used to have to cap because my shit wasn't together. My shit together. Anybody that got capped, they really not together. I used to cap when I was broke. I ain't got cap no more. And I mean broken spirit too, I ain't even talking about money. I used to cap when I was broke. I don't have to cap anymore. Whatever I wanna do, that's make sure I'm able to do it. Whatever I wanna do, big bro, make sure I'm able to do it. Right. So, if y'all want me to do it, I'll do it. Like it's, it's whatever. Just being honest. If you don't want me to be honest right now, then you can dip. If you want me to be honest, you can stay. I'm not going to talk that old crazy stuff that, what is he talking about? No. Be honest. If y'all want me to do that, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it the correct way and I'm going to do it the right way. And once I do it, all that other noise that's been going on is going to stop. Because I'm really going to do it. I'm just being honest. Y'all know I can do it. I did it last time. I'm not talking about this last time. I'm talking about before that. I did that. Like, I can do it. Y'all think I don't got that? Who's the I think I don't have that. And I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the ones that don't think that. If y'all think that, then you shouldn't even take offense to that. But if you're taking offense to it, you shouldn't take offense to it. Because I said the more the merrier. So watch how I turn y'all up. I'm jumping everywhere. I'm doing everything. I'm jumping in every lane. I could do everything. I was blessed that way. So, you know. Just stay tuned for the ride because it's going to be a whole bunch of I told you shows and a whole bunch of mm hmm. <laughs> and look, it's always a motherfuckers. What are you talking about, Uzi? Talking about taking over something that you're not into. Mm -hmm. If you say, What are you talking about, Uzi? I'm talking about taking over something that you're not into. You're a falling line ass nigga. I don't fall in line. I'd rather be down and out before I fall in line. You feel me? basically what I'm on. Um, before this over, basically what I'm saying is, just imagine everything that I did with nothing. So if I was doing all that with nothing, and I'm like, y'all know this question. time I have something. Y'all think I'm not gonna do it with a rollout? I ain't come out with a rollout. I came out just straight raw. So if I come out with a rollout, I'm not even talking about a rollout like nothing set up. I'm talking about actually having it together. The bag. Baby, I'm coming with your pants. What you drunk? Huh? What you was drinking? What I was drinking? Yeah. JT. <laughs> you know, don't say you know how I'm going to get. Oh, exactly. So just go ahead. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't want you to um, start talking all crazy. Because you make me feel weird. You make me feel good. All right, baby, thank you. But I just want you to get off the live because I Well, you're going to have to end it because I'm not. Okay, I got you.
Don't worry, I got it. Uh huh. Move, stop. I'm not gonna say nothing crazy. All right, I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. I won't say nothing crazy. Why would I?